Most of the stuff we order online weighs less than five pounds. Things like toothpaste and light bulbs and tube socks. Now, same day delivery has been around for a while. But what if that's not fast enough for you? What if your need for tube socks is far more immediate? Unmanned aerial systems may have been born on the battlefield, but they're now deployed in everything from Hollywood movies to disaster recovery efforts. They're used in the maintenance of large buildings and cell phone towers, and they already deliver mail and medicine to hard to reach places. The FAA estimates that nearly 3 million commercial drones will be flying by the year 2020. Google and Amazon are making big investments in drone technology, and startups like Zipline, Flirty, and Matternet are already in the air. All of them are pushing the regulatory envelope to make near instant airborne delivery a reality. But what are we getting ourselves into? What are the hidden costs? What does it mean when we absolutely, positively gotta have those tube socks? Corporation put together an interdisciplinary team to study the externalities of drone delivery. Some of their research focused mainly on technical issues, such as vehicle design, air traffic control, and energy consumption. But they also found a number of basic but pressing questions that both consumers and policymakers should be asking, such as. So are these drones really more efficient? You know, for big cities like New York or uh, Chicago? Mm, not necessarily. As population density increases, drones are pretty effective. But the real challenge is when the vertical density increases, like in big cities. Deliveries for a large building, they can fill entire trucks. And the building itself is set for distribution from the ground to the top. If you start receiving those items one by one from the air, you need entirely new systems. So where are drones likely to be more effective? Lower density urban sprawl, places like uh, Phoenix, uh, Dallas, here in Los Angeles. Do you think they would take a lot of cars off the road? In a city like LA, hundreds. But drones are currently limited to about five pounds per package. While that accounts for the majority of deliveries, you'll still need 40% of the fleet to cover the larger items. Hmm. But you would likely ease congestion and maybe, maybe not have as much traffic? What about liability? Drone delivery is going to require a whole new regulatory framework. What about privacy? I'll call you back. In order to navigate safely, these things come equipped with a whole suite of sensors. If every small package delivery in Los Angeles was by drones, one-eighth of the city would be within camera range at any given time. Who owns that data? What is it used for? And what are the psychological effects and changes in human behavior when you feel like you are constantly being watched? What? The noise! We're not going to be able to use any of this! But I heard them just fine. The people in the conference room. It's all a lie! Hollywood trickery! They fix it in post! This is what it really sounds like! Like a blender being abused by a dentist!